want to bring in now Judy Hoa, licensed clinical forensic psychologist. It just, it really makes you sick. And it's really hard to understand. By the way, thank you for joining us. Hard to understand what could make parents do something this horrific to their own children. That's right. And that's the biggest question for all of us, Don, is what is going on with these parents that would make them think that this is okay? Because as you just mentioned, the mom actually seemed like she felt like everything was okay. And she wasn't really even sure why the police was there to do a welfare check. And all we know is that this family has been very secretive. They've been sort of in their own cocoon. They don't really socialize with others. And they have not allow these children to socialize with others either. And even when you look at this picture here, Don, of these photos of these children wearing the same shirt with thing one, two, three, and the numbers, you know, this family was really big about order. They were talking a lot about this control of their children. And when you look at these shirts, they obviously, there's something about them viewing their children possibly as possessions. And <clears throat> when we really consider this entire trajectory, what I'm worried about here, not only just the physical malnourishment and the psychological well-being of these children, but their cognitive development is obviously stunted as well. And it was probably very hard for any of them to make any complex decisions to escape up until this point. So Judy, neighbors saw the children outside only rarely, but no one called the police uh, with any suspicions. How could this go on for so long and be unnoticed? I think that the way that they were able to escape notice was that they really just did not parade the children around in public spaces very often. And I think that there were people who had suspicions that they just seemed a little odd, seemed like they never wanted to be bothered. But that usually doesn't raise a suspicion enough for somebody to call on the police to do a welfare check. And I guess this maybe it's just a good lesson for all of us that if you see something suspicious, the worst thing that you could do is possibly embarrass yourself if nothing is wrong. But mm -hmm. what if you had the chance to actually catch somebody doing something horrific to these children? We know the negative outcomes of children who are maltreated, Don. They have more instances of substance abuse. Or it's harder for them to hold jobs and have pro-social relationships as adults. And 30% of them are found in research to have that same repeated cycle of abuse themselves as abusers, as adults. Yeah, but there is hope for them. They can recover, correctly? Absolutely. And what's really important now that we know that this is happening is to try to get them into professional care with a post-traumatic stress okay. therapist as quickly as possible. All right, I've got to run. Thank you, Dr. Judy Ho. I appreciate it. Thank you, Don.